Welcome to the K1 World Grand Prix 2022 Japan. This is the K1 Featherweight World Tournament at the Fukuoka Kokusai Center. I'm Russell Goodall. And Nicholas Pettis. So we have a K1 Lightweight uh, a couple of fights coming up. Uh, this first one is uh, Yuma Saikyo versus uh, Yuzuki Satomi. So, uh, and in this Lightweight, uh, we've got uh, Saikyo, who's come from uh, initially super uh, Featherweight. <laughs> has recently uh, lost against uh, Gonlapa from Thailand and here they are uh, fighting, uh, both from Yokohama, are here fighting in this Fukuoka arena. So Yuma Saikyo is actually a really cool fighter. Mm. I mean, he's young, strong, you know, 21, wow. 174 centimeters tall. Uh, he's got a great record, nine wins, three knockouts and 40 feats. Um, there's just a lot to watch in this fighter coming up. But I think we should focus a little bit on what his name is. If you translate this directly, Saikyo means the strongest. It can mean the strongest, yeah. <laughs> it's not the same kanji though, but it could mean the same. It thing. could mean, yeah. yeah. They call him the genius, you'll see what... Mo yeah, no, he's what actually a really cool and calm and collected fighter, and I really like appreciate his fighting style. Mm. So, yeah, you don't want to go for coffee now. Now, stay tuned, people. And versus in the blue corner is a Yuzuki Satomi. Uh, a lefty, and he has won against a Duka in his own uh, division as well. Here they are. Both of them are about the same height, similar age too. Yeah, but there's kind of a reason why people are really watching out for Yuma Saikyo because he is definitely like world-class champion material. Mm. And we're watching him here in his first round there. Nice kick. I kind of feel like he's one of those fighters that doesn't like, rush into anything silly. In, into silly, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know, he, he'll stay like within his comfort zone the whole time and not get like phased by his opponents, like either rushing in or doing something crazy. What are some of those characteristics? Or, or Almost like elements. a Tsubakihara where, where he, ah. he, he kind of somehow creates his own uh, momentum in the fight and right. his own like, you know, fighting style and tempo and rhythm and everything. Beautiful counter kick, by the mm. way. Nice. And you're only able to do these kind of techniques when you're at that distance. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, I see, I see. kind of going back to the Toma and Tsubakihara fight that we watched earlier today, it's like um, when you're able to keep this beautiful distance, mm -hmm. there's a lot of things that you can do that you can only get away with by being in this distance of the fight. Right, right. They know, they know what, they, what they're doing. What's, what's some of the elements that it gives Saikyo that sort of international quality as a fighter? Well, so compared to Tsubakihara, for example, he's not bouncing up and down as mm. much as he, as he is. So he's got just like this, this different kind of timing. Rhythm. You can see he's like yep. moving just a little bit, but he, like, you know, constantly keeps kicking and stuff and like letting his opponent know that he's, he's trying to take control of it. Yeah. So he's not waiting and looking for a counter punch. He's initiating the mm. fight, as you can see here, but he keeps his distance. Yeah. He doesn't get in and clinches or something, you know, which is going to make the fight look mm. kind of dirty or too busy. He stays where he is. Oh, hey, almost. Oh my oh. God. What happened there? That was a down. A flash down. Oh, and that I'm was not sure if he didn't really count it as a down, but he did like shake it. Okay. So, yeah. That was a good point. Well, that, that, well, was, that was the end of us. round one. I, I, I hope they're going to show us a different angle of what happened there. Yeah, but he never, he never went down on his yeah. knee or anything, so he did get rushed or, or you know, flushed or whatever mm -hmm. you want to call it. Hmm, interesting. I think it's just a default reflex from a judge that holds it a down straight away. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I see, I see. That can happen, I guess. But how how is that going to fit uh, go, round go. two? Boom. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, no, he did ah, come out. Yes. Okay, fair enough. Knees, yeah, knees that's down. a down then. And, and yeah. wow. boom, I see, straight yeah. Straight up. Straight up, yeah. Didn't really, it didn't put him off the balance, but up again. But you I can see. see that he's actually stopping himself from falling on the yeah. mat properly yeah. with his hands. That means he's completely coherent mm. during that thing. Mm. So it really was like someone switching it on and off the light ah. instantly. Yeah. Nice, but nice move from Satomi. No, but that was a legit down. So yeah. fair enough. Good call on the judge. This is going to change the outcome of the fight. For the I was going to say, I was <laughs> going to say, <laughs> round two. Yeah. He needs to make up for that in order to win. If he wants to win, and all fighters want to win, let's see round two. This is going to take him out of his comfort zone. Not, right at the end of round one there, yeah, when he thought he was maybe bringing the game to Satomi. Hmm. 
interesting. I, yeah, and it's, I guess confidence on part of Satomi who can who snuck that little down. Well, in. he can sit back now, mm. and he kind of looks like the fighter that's comfortable sitting back and just waiting for it. Maybe just looking for that one shot again. You yeah. know, he's definitely not in a hurry. But he also can't let Saito get away with stuff like that. Because Saito will, you know, so because Saito can't. He's just basically making the time go away. I mean, Satomi looks relaxed, but does he have to do more? Uh, I mean, uh, even after that down he took from Psycho. I gotta tell you, this is a fine line to walk. Mm. Um, because if he just doesn't get knocked out, he will win the fight. Yep. If, if this keeps on going, right? right? Look at this. Yeah, we yeah. just watched him for the last minute, and he's thrown three techniques, maybe. Yeah. Maybe three in a whole minute. At the so, most. Yeah. And so there's no no chance that Satomi is uh, actually trying to to fight to win. It mm. doesn't even look like he's looking for you know, you know some kind of like magnificent right hand again or anything. Kinda annoys me because it's just like one of those fights where you like you're playing it a little bit too safe. Right. Like you should go in there and yeah. try and win the fight at least. Some more and Psycho now he's like in a in a space where he's like I don't know. Like he knows. He must know yeah. that he has to fight to win. He's, he has to. <laughs> okay, so I think there's a low blow there. Satomi stop the clock. Yeah, but the psycho needs to improve a little. Now with it down and back in the fight, 45 mm -hmm. seconds left, round two. Thirty seconds. He's done two jabs. Yeah. One low kick. Front kick. No, I'm counting. I'm actually <laughs> counting. Them. Oh, the knee was interesting. Don't cover it up. Double front. Mm. So that's what twelve. Mm. Twelve attacks, maybe. In so, like the last minute and a half. So, so is Satomi just deliberately not doing anything because he wants to win or on? He's in a comfort zone. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, I got a down. I got two points. I'm going to hit it on I the points. I should I'm be not okay. going to get myself too busy. I'm not going to try and get injured. You know, for me, yeah, I just got to be honest. I'm not <laughs> impressed. <laughs> yeah. I guess as, as a spectator, we want to see some action with that. I wonder what's that. Different tactics they might You want to see someone who's actually trying to fight to win. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because, yeah. Flash punch, but lucky. You know, why not go in there and, and try and finish the fight? And let's hope someone does that at, early on in round three. After they have rested. And just lightweight. Okay, Psycho. We built you up in round five. <laughs> Come back and show us what it is you're famous for. Let's do this. You gotta think of this as, you know, you, so you've done the first two rounds. Forget mm -hmm. about what happened in the first two rounds. This is the last three minutes that's actually yeah. gonna make or break it. So you might as well go in there with a completely different mindset. Because I guarantee you they're not tired. Nope. There you go. Okay, there here, you here go. we go, here we go. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. 
Alright, this is way better than round two. Yes, it's like it's nice. doing something, man. Let's do it. Leave a mark. Good. Once again, Yuzuki Satomi is back to his like just like hanging on there yeah. and trying to be the yeah. aggressor. Oh, except oh, okay. for that. <laughs> oh, that At least you're feeling something. Here. Yeah. Oh, some more emotion here. Yes, yes please. Oh, 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 oh. Watch out, Satomi. Yeah, but you're actually not being busy enough. You kind of got to like, especially in this weight class, you know, lightweight. Dude, these guys are fit as nothing else. So if you up the tempo, you'll be fine. You got like 50 seconds left to go. Make the chance. There you go. Build it up. Hey, 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 I like that straight back. Actually, that was a good one. Three seconds, guys. Let's do this. Are we gonna do this? Oh, hey. oh man. Okay. Oh, hey. finally. Now we're Motion. That's what it takes to just have the last 20 seconds <laughs> yeah. in a fight. Oh, good. Okay, as much as I hate to Ooh, say it, yeah. it was actually it. like from a. From a yeah, from a fighter or an analyst point of view. Yes. Um, but Satomi actually did the right thing. Right, right. He played it out well enough and then finished off strongly enough that he wouldn't lose or get an extension. So this fight definitely goes as a 30-28 to Satomi. As, as much as you hate to say that. I don't like it because it just, you know, I just want to see, I want to see the hunger. Yeah. Or the, the desire. Uh, you know? Yeah. Then we all, yeah. The release the beast. Told you. Told you. Oh, told Satomi. Told you. Satomi. Yep. That's exactly what I told you. Judge Okada. Yeah. 29. 28. Yeah, that's impossible. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, Satomi. Judge Mizutani. 29. 28. Oh, Satomi. Ijo. Hante. Santai. Leo. Motomo. Shite. Shou. Shou. Who fights? So judges go to. Judge Satomi. Could have turned out different, but you know, I guess that that down at the beginning, round one, well, was that's a good start. Out, yeah. yeah. He just and then he just played it out until the mm. end. So, yeah. I mean, if you're just looking for the results, fire enough. Fair enough. If you're looking to build a fan base, I would like look for something else. Just a True. piece of advice from your friendly neighborhood fireman. <laughs> <Spider -Man. laughs> and very good advice, if you ask me. But look, I yeah. mean, that was a legit down. So it okay. was. Well, there you have it. This was uh, uh, there's a few of the K1 lightweights uh, coming up here in the K1 World uh, Grand Prix 2022 Japan at the K1 Featherweight World Tournament here yeah, at I the Fukuoka. I think the question in this mm. fight is like, what did he get out of this win? You know? Yeah, it's got to be some uh, thinking as well. Too. This was the K1 World Memory 2022 Japan. Thank you for watching. This was Russell Goodall and Nicholas Paris.